I think it's beautiful. I think Middlebury is a really gorgeous campus and every day walking to class, seeing the sunset or the sunrise or just the sky is amazing. I've definitely grown a lot. Like that's one thing I, I've definitely found um, more important in Middlebury than just you know, the learning and the academics. Try and keep your time full so that you know, you're making the most of it while you're here because four and a half years later, um, it goes by pretty quick. My name is Jason Lehow. My name is Ashna Agarwal. My name is uh, Jack Kirby Miller. I am a geography major. Theater and psychology double major. Environmental studies and chemistry major. I'm from Bombay, India. Maple City, Michigan. And I'm from New York, New York. Aren't you putting seats here and seats yes. here? Yes. And so, oh yeah, so your hammer means you're going like this. So scenic design is a class where you learn how to build a set for a show. And it's more than just like building a backdrop, it's more about understanding the world of a play. The professor is Mark Ivancho. He has so much passion. He is always really lively in class and he really cares about us. The academic atmosphere in Middlebury is very, very rigorous. Right now I'm taking food geographies with Casey McKinney. A very interesting subject, especially since it, it relates well with my major, which is geography. Just learning about the food industry in general and, and how it, it really is an unseen industry as we become more conscious about it over the course of the semester really reveals to you how much of the world goes into what you eat. Environmental studies encompasses a number of things from literature to science to policy. I'm currently taking a class called Soils, Geology, and the Environment, which is one of my favorite classes that I've taken here because it's a field work based class. You are digging soil pits, doing analysis in the field, we'll be taking samples which we'll an analyze for a big project later in the semester. I've loved all my classes and I think because we have the distribution requirements, I've taken classes that I wouldn't have otherwise and just learned so much more. Yeah, we have. I love to play frisbee, I love to play sports, anything really to you know, get the stress out. The Middlebury Pranksters, the Middlebury Frisbee team, is a very interesting group of individuals. Um, I honestly have to say that I did not know what I was going to get myself into. Uh, they really revealed to me the diversity of Middlebury students. Um, you have a little bit of everything on the Frisbee team. Everybody there is family and everybody there I feel like really understands each other. If I'm not working on schoolwork, I want to make sure that I'm enjoying myself and doing something fun. If that's like going out and going rock climbing or hiking or swimming. Sort of growing up in Michigan, we don't really get good mountains. And where it's situated in Vermont, just really love the campus. There are so many things that are happening here. I am involved with the radio. I'm the business director. Welcome back. You're listening to WRMC 91.1 FM, Middlebury College. We put up concerts. We put up a concert at the beginning of the school year. We have another one coming up, and then we have a bigger one in the spring. There's so many bands. There's so many groups. There's something for everyone. The real world is tough and it's scary, but you know, anything really to get out there and just do it, I think is the best thing that Middlebury can offer you. The community around academic learning is one of the most important things. You learn the most at Middlebury from the students that are around you. One of my favorite things about Middlebury is the sense of community I feel here because my friends are family. It makes Middlebury a home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show and you will tune in next week. <laughs>